Hey guys, um, so now that I have a blog, and uh, and it seems like, uh, so this is the blog over here, um, let me just, so it seems like you guys have been reading it, which is awesome, and I appreciate that, um, but now that people are actually reading it, I'd like to aggregate this information over to Square Bracket, because Square Bracket gets like 200 views a day, even though there's really no content on here, and there's already some JavaScript stuff going on, so we've got all these YouTube videos pulled via JavaScript, so let's pull the Blogspot stuff via JavaScript. So you might be asking yourself, okay, I'm sure Blogspot has an API for this. Well, the problem is, they do, and it's really complicated, and I think this is the wrong way to go. It's also only one way you can, this, only, this API only does one thing, and that's work with Blogger. So now I found this jQuery plugin called ZRSS feed, which actually takes any RSS feed and spits out the contents for you, which is a way better way, and the code is super simple. So download it, and let's actually use it. So I'll show you how to use it. So first thing we need to do is actually include our Z feed uh, JavaScript file. So I've already, whoops, I've already downloaded it and thrown it in my JavaScript folder. So here's Z feed right there. Save. And now in order to use it, we're gonna work, so let's look at the page for a second. We're gonna load um, two set two. We're gonna load the blog posts twice. One in this main blue box here, and one in this sidebar. So let's look at the blue box. We're gonna inspect the element that's called add space. So that's where we're gonna load it into. So the way Z feed works is first you need to be inside of your document.ready. So here's my document.ready, uh, which again, dollar sign function is a shorthand way of saying document.ready. So if I go down here, I'm still inside of it. I'm actually going to select that element that I want, and I'm going to call that RSS feed on it, pass it something, and then it actually takes a second parameter, which happens to be a limit, limit 5. Okay, and there's more you can do with this, but this is all I'm going to do for now. So you need to get your RSS feed for Blogspot, right? So to do that, uh, you just go to here, and I forget how you do it in Firefox. But uh, there's a way here. Maybe it's at the bottom of the page. Let's see if blog blogger gives you that feed. No, no, you don't. No. Adam. Okay. Fine. So I usually copy it and paste it into Safari, like this. Give you an RSS button and RSS. Here it is, and paste that back into Firefox. There we go. This is our RSS feed. I just copied it, but here it is, just to show you this is what it is. So, we take this feed, and we paste it into these quotes, and that's it. Save, and go to Firebug, sorry, here, and refresh, and ta-da, there's our feed. That simple. Now, we just have to put some CSS to it. So, what we need to do is increase the size of this title, we need to set an overflow on this div here so that it scrolls, we need to style the titles so that they don't look like this. Get rid of the dot here. Um, so let's do that. I'm just going to kind of copy and paste in what I've already done because um, you don't need to see me type out CSS. So that. So one thing I'm doing though is I'm putting it inside of the add space scope, meaning it only is going to affect this class if it's inside of here. And that's because we're actually going to load the information twice and we don't want them to interfere with each other. So all these are specific to add space. Okay? So save, and we'll refresh, and you can see that looks a lot better. So it's actually a scrollable div here, and it tells me, here's my blog post and all the information in it. So now we need to fill out this one, and if we look at inspect the element here, you can see uh, here's our h2, and then blog side. That's what we want to load into next. So basically, what we want to do is copy this exact same thing that we just did. Well, we don't really want to copy add space. We want to copy all the stuff that has to do with the RSS reader. Paste that, and instead of add space, we're going to say blog side. And now we're going to put everything in the scope of blog side. Okay? Save, and now we're going to refresh. And actually, that doesn't matter because we didn't actually put the blog in there yet. So let's go here and put a second call. Now I know this is going to make a second call to the server, but I'm okay with that because it's loaded on the client, I can load it in later, and I probably won't have two in the future, I'm just doing it to show you. So blog side, and we're going to limit four because five just doesn't fit in that spot. Save, and now refresh, and ta-da, here's my stuff. Now it's a little bit off because we really uh, don't need this title down here, and we would like this uh, date to be smaller, and we like this space to be decreased. So, because we're actually in 
our blog side scope, we can actually mess with that stuff. So instead of this RSS header A, instead of actually styling it, we're actually just going to delete that and say display none. And doing that, that goes away. So now we need to decrease the margin bottom of these titles. So the titles are, is this H4 here. So let's copy that. And we're just going to say margin bottom, say three pixels. And save and refresh. And that does that. Now we actually need to make the date smaller. So to do the date smaller, it's going to be uh, this li. Well, here, let's take a look at what it is. So spec element. So it's going to be li and then not inside the h4. It's just li div. Okay. So li div. And we're just going to say font, font size 9 pixels, font weight bold, save and refresh. And now we have a really cool looking, let me actually close this out. You can see now we've got our blog posts aggregated onto our page. Again, these all link correctly. Um, and it looks like the rest of my page. And I'm really happy with how this came out and how little code it took to aggregate our blogspot posts onto our website. So I highly recommend ZR ZRSS feed. Great guys. And uh, I recommend this way of parsing RSS feeds and blog content.